All right, guys, so um, we're just continuing on from the other bootleg video. I haven't done anything. You can see this is right where we left off, fading that out. This one is going to be about uh, acquiring cool kind of uh, vocal phrases, whether it be through Splice or Loop Cloud or making your own or Vengeance or Sennheiser or whatever. Um, and then the cool thing is over a drop, um, you know, let's say you have a vocal sample that just says like, rock the beat, rock, 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 rock the beat. You could take that and inside of Ableton or whatever DAW you use, put that on top of your re-edit. So now not only do you have, let's say like, you know, whoever, um, a Claude Von Stroke track that you've now made a re-edit, but now you're taking some kind of sample. And I mean, you can get as creative as you want. I, I would probably look towards a completely different style of house than Dirty Bird or Claude Von Stroke and and put that on top of it because it's completely unexpected. Now, of course, that's assuming that it, it somewhat goes with it. Um, but you might even take other Dirty Bird artists if you can find like an acapella and put that on top to really blow the minds of someone who is a huge Dirty Bird or Claude Von Stroke fan or whoever it may be. This is just a, a stupid example right here. But it'll give you the idea. It's just a vocal. I'll let you hear it alone. Crack in, crack in. So it sounds like they're saying crack in, cook crack in, or something like that. Uh, and then, you know, drag it on. Ableton usually just automatically warps it anyways. I, this is in the key of G, and I think that's what Bop was made in. I, I can't remember, but I think G sounds about right. So um, just duplicate it out, mangle it any way you like. Um, you know, you can drop down into eighth notes here, and on the fourth duplication, so one, two, three, four, drop out the last beat, that, that one eighth note there. And um, the tricky thing with bop is there's a lot going on in it anyways. It really doesn't need much of anything in there. You've got Rasta samples, you've got females screaming yeah and hey, and you've got steel drums. Uh, so you've got a lot of high-end you know, high frequency energy, but it's just an example, guys. I'm sure you'll get it. Um, let's just see what happens here. So you might even say that's too much. So maybe we'll just do every other. And I kind of like the way that back and forth is happening with the vocals that are already in it in bop that is. I'm going to lower this just by a dB or two because it sounds a little harsh. I think it's harsh just by nature of the sample, but... And guys, take that and run with that in any section of this... this song. Um, you might take it, let me shrink this up to like four bars because when you start copying, I'm just terrible and I'm left-handed and I'm just sloppy on laptops because it's hard when you, you're left-handed and you're doing right. I don't think they make left-handed laptops. Anyways, okay. So you can see right here, I spiced up the stutter drop with these vocals. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I know that's a quick lesson, but take a really cool vocal sample that you can find and throw it on top of a re-edit and you can really bring the thing to life um, like like you hadn't thought before. And there's no, nothing that says you can't use two different vocal samples. You could use that for the stutter edit area and then bring another vocal in that actually is a famous... Um, famous well-known track that's singing or spoken word or something of that nature so um keep that in mind i'll see you in the next video guys where we will talk about mashing two tracks together